Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing amazing so far today and I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be presenting you guys with six ways that you can make more money in 2020. I really want this year to be your best year yet. I want you to feel confident in your finances. I want you to feel like you have money flowing to you left, right, and center. And I don't want you to feel anxious anymore when you're checking your bank account or when you're checking your credit card balance. So these tips are definitely going to help you make more money this year and I'm super excited to dive in. So the first option that I want to give you if you're trying to make more money in 2020 is to ask for a raise at your job. If you feel like you're a really valuable employee, you work really hard, you have a lot of training, maybe you've been somewhere for a few years now with the same amount of pay, I think it is perfectly reasonable to approach your manager or your boss and ask if you can negotiate your contract or your salary and achieve more pay for yourself. So I know this might feel a little bit intimidating to approach your superior and ask for more money, but I really do think it's acceptable, especially if you feel like you're doing a really awesome job and maybe you've even considered leaving the place that you're at now for somewhere that will pay you more. And this is something that you can also present to your boss and say, you know, I really don't want to leave this workplace. I love where I work, but I really am in a place in my life where I need more compensation. And what's really cool is I actually found a script on Pinterest that I will link down below for you guys that literally tells you word for word what you can say to your boss when you're asking for a pay raise. So if Getting a raise at your main job isn't really an option right now. Another thing that you could do is get a second job. Over the years, I have always had sometimes two and three jobs at a time, and it's really great if you can get a part-time job that has flexible hours. That way you can work a few hours a week after your full-time job, and it's easier to manage that way. So there's a lot of options when it comes to second jobs. You could become a restaurant server, a bartender, you could work retail at the mall. And why these jobs are so great is because a lot of them are weekend and evening based. So you could go to your full-time job from eight to five or whenever you work. And then when five o'clock hits, you could go to your second job, say, get there at six and then work from six to 10. And just think about how good it would feel if you were getting like an extra $200 a week. I think this would be awesome. If you're working on building up your savings for this year, you could take all of that extra money and put it into a savings account. Or even if you just want a little bit of extra fun money to go out with your friends, getting a second job is a really great way to push you a little bit further ahead in life when it comes to your finances. You guys know I had to put this in here because I am all about being your own boss in 2020. If you don't want to get a second job, you don't want to ask for a raise at your current job, you can always start your own business. If you want to invest in yourself and your life for years to come, consider starting your own business in 2020. I have so many videos on this that I will link below. If you want to start a business, but you don't really have an idea yet, or you don't know where to start, I also have a free guide that I have listed down below all about how to discover what business to start for yourself and some different ideas. And guys, we are so close to the release of Digital Dream Life Academy. I'm so excited. I'm working really, really hard. If you don't know, I'm working on an online course that will help you guys build your online brand. It'll help you work through Instagram and YouTube and sell digital products so that you can create your own business in 2020. So just keep this in mind. If you want to make extra money this year, I am coming out with a course that will help you do that. Another thing that you can do to make more income for yourself this year is to start a side hustle. So if you really do like your day job and you don't want to start a full fledged business, you don't want to invest that much time, just consider starting a side hustle. So this could be something like pet sitting, dog walking, babysitting, anything like that. That'll just give you a little bit of extra income on the side, but maybe something that you do yourself so that there's a little bit more flexibility than actually getting a second job. So you have the freedom to decide when you work. So for example, if you want to do babysitting, you can just put the feelers out there in your community, ask your friends if you have friends that have kids, like I'm totally available for babysitting, maybe even just Fridays and Saturday nights, because I know there's so many parents out there that feel like they kind of lose their freedom and lose their date nights when they have kids. And you could come in and save the day and offer some childcare services. There are so many options for side hustles that you can start these days. And I have a ton of videos on this as well that I will link down below for you. Something that I love about the new year is that I'm always so inspired to clean my space and declutter and get rid of all of the stuff that I have that's just taking up space in my apartment. And that's why selling some of your stuff can be a really great way to make extra money this year. So if you have duplicates of things, maybe you haven't used something in a few months and it's just collecting dust in your house, you can consider selling some of this stuff to make extra money. And then in turn, you're also cleaning your space and just making yourself feel so much better because you have so 
so much extra room in your house because you've sold all of this stuff. I actually love selling stuff online because I'm a little bit of a minimalist and I hate when my space gets too cluttered. So I'm always looking for the next thing that I can sell online, make a little bit of extra money, and then I can clear up my apartment. And I also have a video on this all about ways to sell your stuff online. So I'll have that link below for you as well. One of my favorite podcasts is the Minimalist Podcast. And they always say the quickest way to give yourself a pay raise is to spend less. And this is so true. If you want to have more money this year, it's really important to get a hold of your finances. So go through all of the things that you're paying for right now and see what you can live without. Go through all of your subscriptions. Maybe you don't need all of the TV services, or maybe you can downgrade your phone plan. You can cut your grocery budget a little bit. You can save on gas. There are so many different ways that you can save your money. And when you cut down your spending, you're going to see that amount in your bank account increase more and more. And honestly, this is so addicting. Me and my boyfriend love the feeling of seeing the amount in our bank accounts increase. And you get to a point where this honestly feels better than spending your money. So for 2020, I think it would be a really great goal to try and make a little bit more money, but then also save your money and you will feel so much better with your finances. Okay, everyone, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you loved it. And I hope it gave you some ideas of how you can make more money in 2020. I want this year to be your best year yet. I want you to be happy and I want you to feel so free and like you have so much money that you can do amazing things with. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button so that you can join our YouTube family. I have all of the videos that I mentioned linked down below. I have my free business guide. I have my Instagram, my Facebook page, all of that stuff linked down below for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.